Good morning, Hawks. Today is April 19, 2018. I'm Aaron Blakely. And my name's Ray Nelson. Hey, Aaron, have you heard of the March Senior of the Month? No. No, I haven't. Nor have I heard you sing before. Maybe we should leave it to the professionals, bud. She is super involved inside and outside of school. She's the choir president of the student council. She's the thespian president. She's on the board of CSF and NHS. And then outside of school, she does musical theater again and then dance. I think Sam is really what it means to be a hawk. She is involved in so many different facets of campus life. Uh, she's a super academic achiever. She takes multiple difficult classes. She has a really rigorous schedule, but she also has this artistic side of her that she balances beautifully with her academic side. And she's also just a super kind, giving, caring individual. She always puts her all into all her schoolwork and all her outside activities and you can really tell by her grades and her performance and everything is always amazing. She's one of the best people I know and she's just an awesome example of a Golden Hawk. She is graceful, she's poised, she is kind, she's smart and she continues to want to learn and she is a total go-getter. She will not stop learning even when she graduates. I know she's going to go on to do remarkable things and she is an exemplary individual. Congratulations Sam. Congratulations Sam. On being named March's Senior of the Month. Hey Aaron, you're right. We should leave the singing to the professionals. Whoa, whoa, Ray, don't let me kill your dreams. You gotta stick to it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We should follow our dreams, just like our fellow Hawk. Matthew Fulton, a freshman here at El Dorado, is a Pokemon Go enthusiast and a friendly face around campus. However, what most people don't know is that his biggest hobby is karate. I have been in karate for five years. Karate has taught me self-discipline. He not only attends his required classes, but also helps out with the younger kids. I was kind of surprised. Uh, sometimes a lot of kids will just go through a phase where they're, they're generally not interested in pursuing karate after a period of time. They might try it for a short while, and then their interest peaks, and then they drop out. But he's been very consistent about it. It's helped him in so many ways to develop mentally and physically, and just very, very pleased at his progress. Matthew is currently a brown belt advanced and is working towards his goal of becoming a black belt. It's in his mind and he, he literally is thinking, I'm there, I'm going to be a black belt and just continues to progress just in a wonderful way. Matthew started karate at the age of nine and has been very dedicated to the studio. He partakes in many activities the karate studio has to offer, even entering in spring and fall competitions. Matthew's approach to karate and his work ethic are very, very solid. He is very dedicated to it. He considers it his thing and uh, works hard. Just block out the fact that you have disabilities and just focus on what you can do. Matthew constantly inspires me. Sometimes I don't want to do things. I don't want to go work out, exercise. And when I see him pushing ahead, forging ahead, it, it gives me inspiration to want to do the same. I just do what I can, try my best, and try to incorporate what I know how to do. Matthew embodies a true golden hawk. For those who have disabilities, I would say don't let that stop you. Focus more on your abilities than your disabilities and think of ways to make your abilities overcome your disabilities. You know what, Ray? That kid is amazing. Yeah, you're right, but do you know what also is amazing? What? Jock talk. Boys tennis lost a close one to Bray Olinda with a score of 9-9. Final game score as 72-78, but not without Julian Shin and Derek Tain winning all their sets of the match. 
They also played Canyon, but unfortunately lost 5 to 13. You got it next time, boys. Girls Lacrosse unfortunately lost on Tuesday to Esperanza with a score of 1 to 11. You'll get them next time, girls. Boys Lacrosse unfortunately lost their match last Thursday with a score of 8 to 7 against Vista Marina. Good luck next time, boys. Track recently had a meet last Wednesday and yesterday. We'll get the score for you next week, Hawk. Boys Baseball unfortunately lost on the 12th to Your Belinda with a score of 2 to 7, but luckily they bounced back on the 13th against Foothill with a score of 5 to 1. Good job out there, boys. Boys Swimming unfortunately lost to Your Belinda last week with a score 55 and 114. They had a match yesterday, so we'll get the scores for you next week. Girls Swimming won their match to your Belinda last Wednesday with a score of 99 to 53. Good work, ladies. Boys Volleyball unfortunately lost the game with a score of 1 to 3. Good luck next time, boys. Boys Golf unfortunately lost to Braille Linda with a score of 214 to 201 on the 12th. Good luck next time, boys. Softball lost their match to El Medina on the 12th with a score of 2 to 13, and unfortunately lost their match on the 17th with a score of 3 to 5. You'll get them next time, girls. <laughs> oh, what's that? Are you kidding me? You've never been to a baseball game before? What's a baseball game? I got a promo to show you. Welcome to Cage Talk. Um, thank you, Seabone, for having us back on the show. How you doing? I'm Kyle, this is Bobby, and uh, we're here to play on the El Dorado baseball team. Um, we got a big league opener tomorrow here at home. Um, we'll be showing you a quick few demos here on what you might see out there. So we got Bobby diving for a ball here in the hole. Save a few runs. All right, we're gonna make sure we want to get to the contact point. About get, get there, and you're gonna want to put this ball in the trees. Now, after you see the ball clear of the trees, you're gonna want to start your trot and let them know who's running the show around here. Hey, Ray, did you know my name has two A's in it? I don't care. All I care about is extra A's. Community Service, a local theater company, needs volunteers to help with ushering and concessions the last weekend in April and the first weekend in May. See Ms. Cav in room 303 if interested. Don't miss out on the last comedy sports match of the year. There will be a lunch match today and then an alumni versus all-star match at 7 p.m. Lunch match is free, night match is $5. Wagner Elementary School is in need of volunteers to help with their carnival on April 20th from 2.30 to 6.30 p.m. If interested, email wagnercarnivalcommittee at gmail.com. Volunteers are needed to work Linda Vista School Carnival on April 20th from 2 to 6 p.m. If interested, contact Carla Pina at the email on screen. Creative Writing Journal Editors, there will be an editorial meeting today in room 202 at lunch. Please be on time and ready to work. All editors must attend. Prom tickets are on sale and the prices are as followed. April 16th to 27th, $75 with ASB and $85 without. April 30th to May 11th, $85 with ASB and $95 without. May 14th to May 18th, $95 with ASB and $105 without. Nonsense in the Nez, El Dorado's first nighttime rally is Friday at 7 p.m. For entrance to the rally, you must be in your class colors. Seniors red, juniors blue, sophomores green, freshmen yellow. Come and enjoy the night with friends and classmates and see which class earns the title of Nonsense in the Nez class champion. There will be a speech and debate spring seminar on Thursday, room 307, from 3.30 to 6 p.m. We'll have a professional from the district to teach students how to present yourself well during a job interview and other public speaking scenarios. We hope to see you there. Golden Elementary School is in need of volunteers to help run their carnival on May 11th from 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. They will be serving pizzas for the volunteers at 3.30. If interested, email Lisa Black at the email on screen no later than May 1st. Whoa. Well, I think that's all we have. Well, okay. I've been Aaron Blakely. And I'm Ray Nelson. Thank you for tuning in to Hawk Talk.